Uh, even though Tesla stock is at a high right now, analysts believe it will decline to roughly $880 before hitting a new all-time high. Tesla reported first quarter earnings after the New York close, which once again surpassed Wall Street's projections. The uh, leader in electric vehicles announced record profits, thrilling a lot of investors. Um, analysts predict that things will worsen before improving. For the remainder of the year, what can investors anticipate from Tesla? To find out, keep watching. Adjusted income for the company came to $3.07 billion, a 30 increase over its prior peak of $2.09 billion from the fourth quarter of 2017. Additionally, revenue of $18.08 billion, up six cents from the previous quarter sales, exceeded expectations. Tesla set a new record when reported in early April that 310,000 units had been delivered in the first quarter. However, this figure was less than the 320,000 that analysts had predicted. We're left with assumptions, though, since we don't see any analyst figures being withdrawn as a result of that small math error. Uh, it's tough to see how Tesla will meet the delivery targets given the circumstances in Shanghai. Even Wedbush's Dan Ives, uh, Tesla Bull, had some concerns in uh, a note to clients on Tuesday. Ives says, the biggest worry for tomorrow is how bad the production issues in China are going to be and how it will affect delivery for the remainder of the year and the second quarter. Given the multitude of factors surrounding China's second quarter output, which will surely impact projections for the remainder of the year, Musk and company are in a very bad position. Thus, during the past month, there has been a clear overhang in the stock. The stock price fluctuated a lot in April, going from a high of $1,152 to a low of $972 with multiple spikes and dips near the psychologically important $1,000 mark. What caused the disturbance to arise? Apple and Microsoft are two examples of how investor sentiment has shifted away from high-tech stocks. On the other hand, there are issues with China's ongoing COVID-related closures. Another possibility is that investors are shifting their funds from stocks to government yields. Uh, Musk, though, claims that Tesla Shanghai is returning with a vengeance. He stated after the quarterly report that he thinks Tesla's Shanghai facility would produce record amounts of energy each week, even in the face of any new difficulties. Analysts predict that sequential growth will pick up even more speed later in the year, particularly in the second half of 2022, even though we're missing a few weeks. The company's fourth quarter update states that while production at new factories will start in 2022, output levels at current factories will rise. Production at the company's German location has already started. Therefore, it may only take a few months for Tesla's new Texas factory to begin manufacturing automobiles. But given how the second quarter has started, things might get worse before they get better. Executives at Tesla claim that because of COVID-related shutdowns, the business has lost more than a month's worth of build volume in Shanghai. During the first quarter, when weekly production rates at Tesla's uh, Shanghai facility were high, a spike in COVID-19 cases necessitated the temporary closure of the factory and several portions of Tesla's supply chain. Limited manufacturing has lately begun, the corporation claims, and the situation is being constantly watched. It intends to resume full build and delivery volume in the second quarter as a result. And this will take time, and there's a chance that things may become a little stale, which will hurt the stock. Moreover, it takes time for new manufacturers to scale up production. Therefore, the second quarter's impact from Tesla's Berlin manufacturing may not be that significant. Tesla's full-year growth guidance of 50 may be conservative enough for the company to easily exceed this range, even with supply chain shortages and a production halt in China. This is especially true if some supply constraints are eased in the second half of the year, right around the time that production at new factories ramps up to meaningful levels. So we think there will be a quick recovery. Uh, recently, Tesla stock has been on an amazing winning streak. Tesla's re-entry into the trillion dollar club may have taken some unfavorable investors by surprise. However, we have been closely monitoring it, so it wasn't a surprise. As a result, the stock increased in March in spite of the possibility of inflation, higher commodity costs, raw material prices, and interest rates. Similarly, it looks like Tesla is benefiting from the recent rise in the price of commodities like oil. There's when Tesla raised prices, it demonstrated its leadership in pricing. However, rather of reducing demand, Tesla is attempting to meet it. Um, as of right now, Tesla's Us order books are fully booked through 2023. Kaijin claims that Electric states that Tesla has included a provision about its sales in China, 
Its goal is to prevent large purchasers from selling their goods again within a year of acquisition. 30% of sales came from bulk buyers, said Kaijin. This limitation was put in place to lessen speculation on the resale market, which might raise auto prices. We think that the present economic and geopolitical context has tremendously benefited Tesla's scale and pricing leadership, regardless of whether Tesla will be able to enforce the contract. Given that the other competitors are finding it difficult to fulfill their production targets, we believe the stock may rebound from this first decline to its all-time high during the next 12 to 18 months. Musk believes that car production will be on par with, if not slightly less than, what it was in the second quarter despite the continued difficulties. However, the CEO anticipated that the second half of the year would see a significant boost in production. Limited production has resumed at Tesla and the company is working quickly to get back to full production. Musk is optimistic that the business would be able to produce 1.5 million cars this year despite the setback. Finally, Tesla is a profitable company based on free cash flow and gap bid. It's also boasted of pricing that protects its margins in the face of escalating costs for raw materials and batteries, especially nickel and lithium carbonate. This gave investors hope that Tesla would continue to turn profit even in the face of supply chain bottlenecks that beset its rivals. For instance, a number of well-known classic automakers have already declared reductions in guidelines or production stops. Among them are Volkswagen, Toyota, Ford, and General Motors. Additionally, COVID, the car industry has already been severely damaged by 19 lockdowns and underinvestment by semiconductor makers. The problem has been made worse by the surge in raw material costs brought on by geopolitical uncertainty. Companies are also aware of Tesla's robust end demand and production size battery producers who are interested in working with Tesla will therefore keep a watchful eye on this. The largest battery producer in the world, Cattle, has even disclosed intentions to construct an 80 gigawatt monolithic production facility in the United States. Giga Shanghai is the conduit via which Cattle, a major Tesla partner in China, supplies LFP batteries for the company's automobiles. At LFP would prioritize Tesla's orders in the U.S. overall. Others is incomprehensible. Because of this, we think Tesla has a big lead over its rivals when it comes to the security of its battery supply. It is likely that these successful traits will continue to be encouraged in the future. Tesla projects a 54 and 50 cent increase in its top and bottom lines, respectively, to $82.08 billion, 67 cents billion dollars per share in 2022. Consequently, a lot of regarding Tesla's capacity to reach these goals, uh, investors are divided. The possibility of Elon Musk acquiring Twitter poses a risk to Tesla's future developments. Elon Musk could be able to leverage Twitter to build a larger community of Tesla owners and customers if his acquisition of the social media network succeeds. I, the board of directors of Twitter, however, doesn't seem to be considering the takeover offer at this moment. As a result, the deal might not close. What is the consensus among analysts as a whole? The average analyst prediction for Tesla stock, according to Market Beat is $935.78 per share with a large difference between the low estimate of $250 and the high estimate of $1580. Regarding the stock's fair valuation based on fundamentals vis investor attractiveness, analysts' opinions are significantly divided. There were 15 buy, 7 hold, and 8 sell ratings on April 21st, resulting in a hold recommendation consensus. On March 18, Morgan Stanley analysts restated their buy rating, projecting a $1,300 price for Tesla shares by 2022. U.S. investment company Piper Sandler increased its price goal with an overweight rating on February 14th, going from $1,300 to $1,350. Sanford Cohen and company analysts are at the opposite end of the spectrum. Do you anticipate a decline in Tesla stock? What price goal do you have for 2022? Please leave a comment below.